Hello my humans, this is Kat Mendoza and in this video I want to talk a little bit about very fast, just a little puru 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 puru, okay? Puru 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 puru. The full moon, the full moon eclipse that just happened, that we just literally um, experience okay so we had um, and I have a video you can check that out uh, on my YouTube channel if you have it. it's the full moon that we just had on the 26th of May that also just didn't just draw the full moon eclipse okay we also started um, you know to experience mercury going retrograde I mean, I don't know your experience. I would love to hear your experience. Um, you know, maybe you have some knowledge on your sign or maybe you don't have much. We are all learning together. I've been studying astrology and I can't stop and I'm really like, you know, just like kind of feeling it. I am getting to a point um, of understanding the basics of it and where now I really feel more comfortable into starting to work on my channeling of just kind of like, you know, my intuition uh, on these aspects on, of these, um, you know, different times that are happening with the full moon and the new moon, etc. So I don't know why I just talk so much because probably because we are, I know why. Oh, why? So we are in Gemini season, okay? So for all those Gemini babies, happy birthday to you. Like, I am super excited because I'm actually a Gemini moon, okay? And uh, um, I have a lot of people that I love that are Gemini son, and you know, their birthdays are coming up. It's exciting to see that now that I, um, you know, I've been studying the astro and seeing the connections of all the people, important people in my life, like my brother's birthday is, so it's on the six, you know, and then I have like three other friends that is, they have their the birthdays like super close to in the beginning of the month. So Gemini, what is Gemini, okay? So the reason why I'm gonna go a little bit in, into detail, um, sorry, I'm just going everywhere because I'm Gemini mood. So Gemini season, and I'm talking a lot, expressing a lot because Gemini is the sign of communication. It's the sign and known has the chatty, you know, chatty. Think about your closest person, your friend, family, that doesn't shut up. <laughs> like that is just kind of like a little bit of me because I have a Gemini moon, which is, you know, all about my emotions and that's why it's very important for me to express myself, to talk and use my creativity and, and all of this. So think about, and if you're my friend, if you know me, think about about me, I'm a Gemini. I can, you know, Geminis are just like, it's your ADHD kind of friend, okay? And they kind of like come up, come off or come off, yeah, come off has, you know, like if they have ADHD, like they're so fast and like, you know, like parada, they just have so many thoughts going around and just not enough time to just put them into one thing so they can express sometimes. And that's one of the challenges that we face. And it's, you know, your challenge, what's hard for you, has your sign, whatever that is, is what we're here to work on. So think about a friend, that chatty, chatty, Friend. So we are going into the Gemini new moon that's happening on June 10th, okay? So we are almost there. We're about to enter to start a new complete complete cycle, a new month. You can say June Gemini, okay? And for all those Gemini people, please watch this. <laughs> Gemini is one of my pretty cool friend signs. I really like uh, Gemini. Gemini new moon. We just got out of the full moon in Sagittarius with the eclipse, the Mercury retrograde. We still are going to be continuing in, Mer in Mercury retrograde until like the 22nd of June. Pretty, you know, like a pretty, um, <laughs> pretty Gemini situation. But just, just going over um, the full moon. 
full moon, just think about when you see full moon. It's about releasing, it's about endings, it's about, um, you know, sitting in front of the mirror with yourself and saying like, all right, this is all the things that I got at work or this is all the things that like, I've been wanting to release or let go and I just like, you may continue in the pattern or you may continue um, with those addictions, like it could be anything, like that, a way of thinking. What? Your drugs, whatever it is, ah, uh, you know, just keeping you down there, right? Or it's keeping you or no motivated or you're doubting yourself, whatever it is. So whenever you think about full moon, think about time to rest, time to rest and, and and when I say rest, rest your, you know, your creation of uh, constantly one new things, like, you know, like mostly because we are in Mercury retrograde. So in here, you don't want to be making like new decisions or, you know, buying a new car or a new house. Right now it's a time, um, it's a time just because we continue Mercury retrograde and until the 10 that we have, the, you know, that full lunar eclipse. <laughs> it's driving us and calling us to go inward to you know face our darkness or to just kind of hang out with the darkness of us and the patterns and uh segments of ourselves that we kind of want to you know let go of and in this time you don't have to go and make the new decision you don't have to make the changes actually right now everything is just going backwards and it's just crazy do not go and uh, you've, been, you've been thinking of breaking out with your person, right? With your partner. Or you've been thinking about quitting your job and you, wanna, you want a new job. Yes, okay, good. Sit there, be like, okay, what patterns uh, have I been continue creating with my former partner? Stop, I don't want to go away. Um, that like, I do not, uh, that, that, I, that it just doesn't work for me anymore. Or that it's just, um, you know, I don't want anymore. Or I just like overgrown that and we're just, whatever it is, right? So it's, you're thinking about all these things. Don't go and break up with a person right now. Maybe, I mean, if you feel, I mean, you do your thing, but it's, it's about like sitting back and like analyzing, thinking and making a plan. You can make the plan. But don't go and act on it right now until until after the new moon until after we come off mercury retrograde and we just go back into the regular cycle of the movement why also so important to yeah you may be feeling like you want to express you want to say you want to talk you want to do all these things right you want to gemini because gemini is a sign of communication and right now wow, the energy is moving into the new moon and you know, maybe you want, if, if, if you take the chance and you express and you let all that out, right? All that stuff that your mind is going so fast and you're driving you crazy and you wanna make the changes and you just want to do it and make the new changes and buy the house or whatever it is or break out with your person. You may encounter like uh, communication issues or when, you know, whenever you are trying to say something else and come out right or the timing is not right, things like that. You know, just because you're going against the energy that we are vibrating right now. So right now, analyze, think, make the plan, acknowledge yourself. What do I want to change? Why? But don't go and make the change right now. Do whatever you want. This, uh, this is just a little bit of, um, you know, just astrology. You know some wisdom that i'm giving you and you can use however you want depending on who you are etc so now that's enough with the eclipse and the full moon again if you want to go into more details check out my other youtube uh video <laughs> i'll leave it down below and now let's move into talking a little bit about the new moon okay <laughs> i try yeah actually right here the new moon so we move we shift it to the new moon right so now when we are thinking about new moon think about the new moon new now this energy is gravitating is welcoming us to make the changes that we sat with 
during the whole full moon time. I've been thinking, I face my, my darkness. I made a plan. I know what I want now in a partner. Um, you know, I made a list where I think I know, whatever it is. I know the job that I want to move on to. I know what I'm good at. I know what that I don't want to, I'm not willing to keep putting up with a certain thing that I've been, put, been putting up with. So now that you have the new moon, which is going to be on June 10th, now is when you go and make the change, right? Now is when you express what you want and break up with the person. You know, be nice about it, right? Remember, everybody's teaching you something. Every single uh, period or relationship, it's a chance to work through our karma and learn a lesson, in my opinion. Or, you know, quit the job. Come on, put your two-week notice. Be, you know, don't break, don't, uh, break bridges be a nice person but this is the time where the changes are done okay this is the energy is like come on give it to me give it to me change boom and now the energy when you have been thinking you know like analyzing and making the plans of the changes that you want to make now this end of may i mean of june 10th, 2021. If you when if you come and you have all the plan, you, you put it into action, you make the changes. This energy is gonna help you shift into this new vibration. Remember, that's why this time before the 10th of uh, June, it's so important that we face, that we deal, that we feel the emotions, that we release, release, release. Full moon, release, let go, new moon. Here I am for the new. So get ready. You still have some more few days that from you know just experiencing before the new moon. Get ready. So when the tenth comes next month, you are boom, 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 boom. Ha! The energy is gonna be in your favor, right? If you have done, if you have done the work of that, and if no, it's okay. You know you do what you can. You do your best and just wait until the next moon to do the work. But now you're aware of it, now you know, right? But if you are watching this video, I'm guessing, whatever it is, but if you are watching this video and you are ready and you wanna make the changes and you wanna use this energy to help you push towards the new and prepare for the new, here it is. Let's make the changes so that way, well, let's plan the changes so that way on the 10th, again, of June, we are able to step straight and just give our changes to this beautiful human, to ourself, to the world, to follow a closer uh, version of ourself, of you know, of our purpose, and of to live a better life and a happier life, and to like understand that you know we are capable of manifesting and creating the life that we really want, the life that we came here for, and everything else. It's very important because it taught, it teaches us, it makes us, helps us overcome the story and everything. It makes us overcome the struggles and situations and makes us grow. So that's what I got for you guys so far right now. It was just a little boom, boom, boom. So you have an idea of what's coming and just prepare, write it down what you want to change, how you have to change, what steps to take. So when the 10th comes again, I, I feel like I'm repeating this, bam. So the new moon is going to be in Gemini, okay? So Gemini is the, pla is the planet. And Gemini is the sign of communication. And we are still going to be in Mercury retrograde. I will be sharing another video when we get close to the 10th, just about going over about Gemini and what a Gemini moon is going to be providing for us and for everybody around us and just our life. So I really hope that I help a little bit combining the full moon and eclipse and the Mercury retrograde and what's coming next month. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Give me a comment down below. And let's start like learning about each other and our signs. And just let's learn. That is, that is one of my goals right now this week to you know make more of these videos for you guys because I am having so much fun. And, because you know a part of my sign and my purpose in life 
through my signs and so many more aspects and things and uh, you know about my chart is that I'm here to really believe in myself really like see you know like follow what I'm good at just like learning about all of this stuff because I'm meant to come and share to you I am a, a philosopher I am a teacher I want to communicate and express that with passion and love and just you know use this uh, persona that I have and it makes me happy <laughs> so please make sure you subscribe I'll see you next video and have an amazing ending of a decent full moon energy and transmutation and moving into your new bye bye